forgotten in orbit. On April 12, 1961, Soviet cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin became the first human in space and also the first to orbit the Earth. But some people believe that Gagarin was not the first in space. He was only the first to return alive. The following is an account of a lost cosmonaut, Gavril Koltsov. January 21, 1960 The Vostok rocket sat on the launch pad at Balkanor Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan, USSR. It was the day of the first attempted launch of a human into space and with that orbit. Cosmonaut Gavril Koltsov sat in his Vostok module, ready to make history. A voice came over his intercom. Major Koltsov, how are you feeling this morning? It was mission control. Just fine, sir. Ready to go. Koltsov radioed back. Koltsov's Vostok 3KA rocket looked ready to go. Koltsov was ready to go. Everything seemed as it should have. Seemed. The rocket went through final pre-flight checks and then ignition. It released from the base stabilizers. The main engine and four boosters activated great. Koltsov was accelerating at 200 ms, reaching upwards to 300 ms. The fuel on the boosters was almost empty. Boosters gone, a voice said over the radio. The four boosters disconnected. The rocket shuddered for a second and kept going, accelerating at the loss of weight. Another minute passed. The rocket kept going, now at around 50,000 meters above Earth. The fuel on the current stage ran out and it came time to decouple the stage. The rocket now pitched to get orbital velocity. When the lower half of the rocket decoupled, something didn't feel right to give real. He radioed command. Come in. This is Major Koltsov to control. Yes, Major. Is everything all right? A voice came back. I just decoupled the stage and something shuddered. It just didn't feel right. He replied. No, no. Nonsense, Major. Everything is reading fine down here. Koltsov was now nervous. He frantically scanned his panels, checking everything. His fuel gauge. It was dropping fuel faster than it should have been. He checked his throttle. At about 65%. Just where it should have been. Command, I'm losing fuel. Throttle is where it should be. Are you seeing anything wrong? On Earth... Mission Control was reading that Koltsov had a fuel leak, most likely caused when the first stage decoupled. Instead of worrying the cosmonaut and informing him, Control chose not to tell him. If he knew, he would panic and start to attempt a return burn to re-enter atmosphere. Major, I understand you are under anxiety, but you are fine. Do not worry. You are almost in orbit. Command said as Koltsov was at the correct altitude to enter a good orbit. Koltsov corrected his heading to get into a circular orbit. His fuel was nearly empty. It was at 20%. It should be around 70%. What the hell? Command, come in. Come in. I'm almost empty. Come in. Koltsov yelled frantically into his mic. Command, come in, goddammit. His orbit was off. While he radioed command, he accidentally pitched the craft. He was in an escape orbit from Earth. He grabbed control and attempted to fix his course, at least to get into an elliptical orbit where he would enter Earth's atmosphere to return. He started to pitch, but his craft shuddered and his engine stopped. His fuel was dry. He was hopeless. His craft was stuck in an escape orbit. Koltsov would never hear back from command. He tried once more. Command, come in. This is Major Koltsov. I am out of fuel and on an escape orbit from Earth. Is there anything we can do? Koltsov said. He never heard back. He looked through his porthole into a black void. He only had enough food for his planned flight, which was supposed to be three hours. He pitched his craft so he could look at Earth through his porthole and it was getting smaller. He had run out of electrical charge four hours into the flight. His oxygen 
ran out 22 hours in. He knew he was done for. But he tried one last time to tell command of his situation. Come in. His voice slowed as he had issues breathing. Anyone come in. This is... This is Major Gav... Gavril Koltsov. He could barely finish his sentence. Is there anything, anything we can do? There was no signal. He was out of oxygen, out of food, out of electricity, out of hope. Gavril looked out his porthole at Earth. The blue planet was beautiful, but the thought gripped Gavril. He would never see it again. He would never see his home, his family, his friends. His family would get a telegraph saying he was killed in some training accident, but they would not know that he made history, that he became the first man in space, but he knew they would not find out. He closed his eyes one final time, drifting away from Earth, forgotten. <laughs>